Hi, and welcome back to another video. Today I am making my uh, customer thank you cards for the month, and since I have a busy uh, card month this month, I thought that I would make something really simple so it wouldn't uh, take as long to mass produce them. So this is just a very simple but elegant uh, two-layer um, card. The stamp set that I used was uh, this free one from Celebration. It's called Delicate Details. And from now until March 30th, or 31st, excuse me, for every $50 spent, you can choose a free um, item from the Celebration catalog. And this is the one that I chose. And we're using this lace here. The sentiment comes from a retired set. And although I really don't like to use retired sets for my cards, I like to, um, I, li I was looking for something very specific. I wanted script, and I wanted something that picked up the delicate nature of the lace. So I used um, this one here. It's called For You, and I used this thank you sentiment right there. The current catalog does have some great uh, thank you stamps with thank yous in them, but I ha don't, didn't end up getting those. Um, this one here, called Thankful Thoughts, has this thank you here. It's a little smaller than the other one, but that would have worked just as nicely. And then there's One Big Meaning has this nice thank you. It says thank you for everything and more. But this one I liked as well. It's just thank you. It's got great script. Um, and it's it's smaller, it's narrower, so I probably would have to make the um, white base a little taller to have that fit. But that point is moot, I guess, because I don't have either one of these, and that's why I opted to use a retired set. Um, but let's get started with this. So I have a piece of crumb cake. It is cut at 7 by 5, scored at 3.5. I have a piece of Whisper White cardstock um, for the front, and this is cut at three and a half by two and three quarters. And then, because this is crumb cake, and I do want to write in the inside of it, I will be putting this piece of white, Whisper White, in there. And this is cut at um, three and a quarter by four and three quarters. So, for the front of the card. Because um, we're using a photopolymer set, I do have my pierce mat so that I get um, a better stamped image. And this is a large, kind of a large stamp. So when my stamps are large, I like to put the stamp to the stamp pad. The stamp pad to the stamp, excuse me. Um, just so I can see better what I have. I feel like I just have better control over it. Now you'll notice that these... Uh, this lace has scallops on it, and I wanted, as best as I could, to have these centered. I didn't want to have, like, a whole scallop here and then just a half one here. So, before I stamped, I looked and I saw that if I put the longest point of the scallop on the lace um, with one little scallop on either side, that that was, that, that was pretty much center. And also, um, you'll see on this stamp, stamp it has um, a nice little border. Let's see which way you can see it better. A nice border, and I did want a little bit of white showing above that as a border. So because it is um, photopolymer and you can see through it, it was, I was able to position that fairly easily. I've been talking too long, so let me restamp it. Okay, so, and I also, I did the bottom, stamped the bottom one because that was easier for me to see where I was stamping. So, I have here my tallest rounded edge of the stamp, plus one, so I have that, and now I can see a little bit of a border on the bottom, so I'm going to go straight down. And when I lift it, I have a bit of a border. It's a little bigger border than I wanted, but that's fine. So now I'm going to turn it around. And I'm going to line it up again. And shoot for the same size border there. And I have, looks like the scallops are centered. I can see my border, and I'm going to go straight down. And there we go. Oh, and that looks great. Now I'm going to take the sentiment 
and put that right in the middle. Straight down, straight up. There we go. And it's as simple as that. Now all I have to do is attach it to my card front with a little bit of snail. And then I am going to put some snail on the inside piece so I can write my thank you note. Center that up. And there you have it. Now I noticed that this top piece is just a tiny bit hanging over. So I am going to just take my shears. And cut it and that makes it nice and even and there we go I think that's a lovely elegant card and it's very simple if I were making it on a larger scale for as a regular a2 I might um, dress it up a little more put little um, pearls on inside the little pieces of lace that would give it a little um, more elegance but um, this is going to be just fine for my purposes and I really like it, and I think it's so simple. So I hope you'll give it a try. And remember, sometimes less is more. Thanks. Bye-bye.